Welcome to the Wedding Songs Podcast, featuring newly released songs you need to know and the tried and true classics. Get song ideas from the time guests arrive until the last dance of the reception. And now your host, Matt Campbell, founder of MyWeddingSongs.com. Everybody and welcome to the 53rd episode of the Wedding Songs Podcast. I am Matt Campbell and we have a great show for you today. It is the Hot 50 Wedding Songs of August 2021 as these are the most popular songs that are purchased on our website myweddingsongs.com. So what this list does is it really gives you an idea of what the songs are popular that people not only are listening to but they are purchasing. So that means they are really interested in these songs. Just for those first time listeners, we don't sample any of the songs, so if you do want to listen to it or just read the list, you can do so on our website at myweddingsongs.com. Just go to Charts and Hot 50 Songs. So we have the Hot 50, and they're alphabetized by song. So let's go ahead and get started with our first song on the list. It is a great wedding song by Dan and Shay and Justin Bieber called 10,000 Hours, released October 4th of 2019. Now, if you're looking for the ceremony version of this song, they do have a piano cover of this with Dan and Shay and Justin Bieber. So you can have this song in your wedding ceremony or even as your first dance or probably any part of your wedding day as this is a great love song to play. Next up are two R&B legends, Charlie Wilson and Smokey Robinson with their new song All of My Love released October 23rd of 2020. This is a great mid-tempo song that you could play near the end of the dinner right before dancing. It'll get everybody in that dancing mood. At number three is Luke Combs with his great first dance song Beautiful Crazy released May 4th of 2018 this song was actually his first dance song when he got married and you can have it as yours as well the fourth song on the list is Shane Fallon with Beautiful and White released August 25th of 2017 this is a great song you could have as a bride entrance song into the wedding ceremony venue right before she's walking down the aisle or as she is walking down the aisle and number five is American Authors and their song Best Day of My Life released January 1st of 2013. This is a great and popular recessional song. So after the I do's, you're walking away from the altar saying, hey, I just said I do. I'm married. This is a great song to play as you exit the wedding ceremony location. At number six is one of my favorite R&B love songs by Leon Bridges called Beyond released April 20th of 2018. This would make for a great first dance song for any wedding couple. At number seven is a very controversial song just because of how many times it's been played. It's been seen as a little bit corny, but man, everybody loves this dance. It's the bird dance, also known as the chicken dance, and it's the Emeralds version released in 1982. So if you have a lot of kids in attendance at your reception, this would be a great song to play right at the beginning of the reception to get all the kids out on the dance floor involved and doing the chicken dance. At number eight is Sam Hunt with Body Like a Back Row. Road, released on February 1st of 2017. It's a great mid-tempo song that you could play for the right country crowd, as it may not be wedding appropriate, but a lot of people will sing along to it. And number nine is Colby Calais with Brighter Than the Sun, released July 12th of 2011. It's a great love song that you could have as a mid-tempo recessional song, or even as a cocktail hour song as guests are entering into the reception. It'll keep the mood up and make everybody happy. And to round out the first 10 is Music Travel Love with their acoustic cover of Can't Help Fallin' in Love by Elvis Presley. This was released on June 9th of 2021. Can't Help Falling in Love is I consider the greatest wedding song of all time just because of how many times it's been covered and how popular those covers are. So if you're looking for an acoustic Can't Help Falling in Love, this is a great song to play for your wedding ceremony. At number 11 is a song that's captured from the movies. It's called Collide by Tiana Major 9 and Earth Gang, released October 10th of 2019. It's a great love song that you could have as a first dance song for your reception or throughout your reception. If you're looking for a line dance song at your reception, then at number 12 is Cotton Eye Joe by Rednecks, first released January 1st of 1995. A lot of the 90s songs are popular right now just because of the ages of couples and their parents. So the parents were in high school in the 90s, and this 90s music is very popular right now. At number 13 is Cruisin' by Smokey Robinson, released August of 1979. What really brought this back is the car insurance commercial that has 
this song incorporated into it. And you know what? It's just a great sing-along song that you could have during dinner or during the cocktail hour. At number 14 is a very popular modern disco song by Dua Lipa called Don't Start Now, released October 31st of 2019. This is a great dance tune for the party section. And if you're not too hip on this one, then you can also play Levitating with the Baby. The smooth R&B voice of Robin Thicke is at number 15 with Forever Mine, released May 27th of 2020. This is a great slower dance song that you could have as a first dance song or even as any part of your reception like a cake cutting song. At number 16 is Charlie Wilson again with his song Forever Valentine. This is a great mid-tempo song you could have as a recessional song to say, hey, yeah, now you're forever mine. First released January 17th of 2020. So one that you can play throughout your wedding day as a mid-tempo song. At number 17 is a popular entrance song as you enter into the wedding venue. At number 17 is a very popular entrance song as you enter into the wedding reception hall. And that is Hand Clap by Fitz and the Tantrums, released June 10th of 2016. It'll get everybody clapping. At number 18, instead of the piano version, you have the violin version of Here Comes the Bride. This one that I have on the site was released on March 8th of 2011. But this is a very popular song to play as the bride walks down the aisle to meet her future husband. At number 19 is the alternative band Panic at the Disco with their popular song High Hopes that would make for a great party song during the reception. And to round out the top 20, at number 20 is Rule with I Get to Love You, released February 12th of 2016. This is a great love song that a lot of couples choose to have during their wedding ceremony. So as a recessional song or as a processional song, either way, it's a great love song to play during your ceremony. At number 21 is a very popular father-daughter dance song in the country genre by Heartland called I Loved Her First, released June 5th of 2006. Even though it's been a minute since this has been released, it's a great country song to dance with your father on your wedding day. The 22nd song makes for a great sing-along song you could have during dinner. It is I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys, released April 28th of 1999. You can also have it during the dancing part as well that will have all of the guys on the dance floor singing to their lovers. The 23rd song is Jason Mraz with I'm Yours, released February 12th of 2008. You could have this song throughout any part of your wedding day. It's been a popular ceremony song and also as a first dance song. It's just one of those great love songs. At number 24 is a popular bouquet toss song or it could be a great party song just for all the ladies in attendance and that is Kings and Queens by Ava Max released March 12th of 2020. And at number 25 halfway through our list is one of my favorite party songs. Makes for a great summer song. Makes for a great song that you could just sing along to and that is Little Bit with Nelly and Florida Georgia Line as they return together after Cruise if you remember back in the day and this one was released on October 23rd of 2020 so maybe you can mix in Cruise too a little bit if you have the right remixes with the right tempo. At number 26 is a very popular sing-along song and party song at weddings by the Vegas band The Killers and their song Mr. Brightside released September 29th of 2003. At number 27 is an indie band Safety Suit with their wedding song Never Stop the Wedding version released August 28th of 2018. It just seems like everybody's looking for a song that they could play that's a great love song that's not played at every wedding that comes and goes and this is one of those songs that definitely fits that mold. It's just a great love song you can play that's not played at every single wedding but has the staying power because it's such a great love song. At number 28 is the romantic Brian McKnight with his song Nobody released March 27th of 2020. At number 29 is the newly married Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani and their song Nobody But You, released December 13th of 2019. This makes for a great first dance song or any song throughout your wedding day. And if you're looking for another line dance song to go along with Rednecks, then you have at number 30, Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus with Old Town Road Remix, released June 21st of 2019. Now you just have to know the couple and whether they want to have songs that have been played a lot and been very popular as this is the highest charting song ever on the Billboard Hot 100. So make sure you know your audience before you play this song. At number 31, if you're going to have drinks at your wedding
Evening Reception, then One Margarita by Luke Bryan, released on March 13th of 2020, may fit the theme of your reception. If not, it makes for a great two-step song. If you're looking for a song that takes it one step faster than One Margarita, then at number 32 is Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy by Big and Rich, released April 19th of 2004. Makes for a great party song for all of those country fans in attendance. At number 33 is a mid-tempo R&B song, Doja Cat with Say So, released November 6th of 2019. It's one of those younger generations will sing along to and know, so a great song you could have during dinner or during the cocktail hour. The 34th song by Rasan Patterson is Sent from Heaven, released May 17th of 2019. This is a great R&B love song you could have throughout your wedding day. And the same thing goes for the 35th song, Kim, with Share My Life on October 25th of 2010. This has been a very popular love song since it was first released 11 years ago and makes for a great wedding love song that you could play throughout any part of your wedding day. And the same thing goes for the 36th song, Spend My Life With You by Eric Benet and Tamia, released April 27th of 1999. Like I said before, those 90s songs are really popular right now, and this makes for a great first dance song or any part of your ceremony or reception. And keeping with those 90s themes, at number 37 is a great sing-along song that was very popular at the end of the 90s, and that's Steal My Sunshine by Len, released May 25th of 1999. This makes for a great end-of-dinner song that maybe people won't dance to, but they will sing along to, and it will get them right on the edge of partying and dancing. At number 38 is a very popular anniversary song, so you could play it as the anniversary dance song for your wedding, and that is Orleans, Still the One, released August 1st of 1976. This is great for classic rock fans and one that you could play, like I said, for the anniversary dance. That's when you get all of the married couples on the dance floor and you dwindle it down to the longest married couple, then you would play this song. At number 39 is one of the very popular country love songs since first being released on May 4th of 2015 by Chris Stapleton, Tennessee Whiskey. It's a song you can play throughout your wedding day and everybody will want to dance. And to round out the 40s, at number 40 is The Get Up by Blanco Brown, released May 3rd of 2019. This is a line dance song, so if people don't know the dance, then maybe it's one that you would skip. Like I said, it's a very popular group dance song to get everybody out on the dance floor. If you like Blanco Brown, make sure you check out the song Just The Way with Parmalee. It's a faster tempo that you could play during the cocktail hour. At number 41 is The House That Built Me by Miranda Lampert, released September 28th of 2009. I don't see this on many wedding song lists, but it's one that's probably very specific to either one of the wedding couple. So it's one that you could play as a slow dance song during the reception or maybe as a special dedication. At number 42 is a very popular R&B wedding song, Today I Do by Tamia, released July 24th of 2018. If you haven't seen the video of this yet, you may want to check it out as she marries Grant Hill. At number 43 is Darius Rucker with Wagon Wheel, released January 7th of 2013. Now this song really depends on what part of the country you're in. You may prefer the old Crow Medicine Show version versus this one. Both of these are very popular for the song Wagon Wheel to play during the dancing part of your reception. For modern music, that's a little bit mid-tempo. Maybe you're not going to dance to it, but one that you could have to play during the cocktail hour. That's a mid-tempo song. And this is Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles, released November 17th of 2019. Love this song. Love Harry Styles. And if you're not a fan of this one, then maybe you like the song Adore You, which is also a great wedding song. At number 45 is a Christian song, mid-tempo song, called When I Say I Do by Matthew West, released January 1st of 2008. If you love Christian music, if you love this song, I gotta say it's one that you have to check out if you haven't heard it before. At number 46, the song I see a lot on the Money Dance, aka Dollar Dance song list, and that is Why Don't We Just Dance by Josh Turner, released February 9th of 2010. It's a mid-tempo song that even if you don't have it for the Dollar Dance, then you could have it for as a two-step song during the dancing part of your reception. And number 47 is a cover of the song Yearning for Your Love by PJ Morton, released May 17th of 2019. Just for R&B fans, this is a great song to play for your wedding. At number 48 is a popular father-daughter dance song for the R&B fans. 
And this is by Stevie Wonder called You Are the Sunshine of My Life, released October 28th of 1972. And another parent-child dance song at number 49 is You're Gonna Miss This by Trace Adkins, released October 11th of 2010. And the last song on our list at number 50 is another anniversary dance song that you could play. And this is by Shania Twain called You're Still the One, released on November 4th of 1997. It really celebrates the love of a couple of throughout the years that they're still the one. So there you have it, our Hot 50 Wedding Songs of August 2021. If you prefer to read or listen to the list, you can do so on our website, myweddingsongs.com. Just go to Charts and Hot 50 Songs, and that makes up for our two podcasts of August of 2021. Next month, we're going to be covering, again, the Hot 50 Wedding Songs of September 2021, and also the hot new songs that were released in August of 2021. So make sure you stay tuned in for those. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Thank you for listening to the Wedding Songs Podcast. Never miss a future episode. Subscribe today to our podcast. Follow us on Facebook at My Wedding Songs and send us a message about playlists you would like covered. 